I don't need drama in my life Every day I'm trying to live it stress free, yeah Stress free, stress free, yeah Stress free <laughs> 55 episodes deep. Let's get this money. Hello for once at No Blaster and welcome back to episode number 55. Not only episode number 55, but what will very likely be the finale of our Pokemon Sun Let's Play. It's been a wild ride. In the last episode, you guys, we went ahead and captured the final three legendaries. Well, Legendary, because I saw, like, two of them were, like, actual legendaries, like, two of them were, we were actually legendaries, and then the third was just, wasn't really technically a legendary, but it was just kind of grouped in, it's like, hey, here's the Pokemon you can get in the post game, so we're gonna get it, and group it in with these guys, because what the fuck not? Anyways, today, um, we're gonna be taking on a certain battle legend at the Battle Tree. Uh, I was gonna do, like, the, like, Battle Tree, like, episodes where I just gotta go through and do, like, five to ten battles per episode, but... I tried that, and I wasn't really feeling how it was going, so I just went ahead and beat, like, 19 battles off, uh, off screen, and then I heard that it's a 20th battle, you can battle a certain battle legend. So, we're gonna go and do that in this episode. If you guys are hyped for the finale of our Sun Let's Play, make sure you smash the like button below for us, because you already know your score is greatly appreciated. With that, let's have a look at the team that has carried us through the game. Well, I wouldn't say that, but, because we have changed team members quite a bit, but, you know, I'll give a shout-out to the ones that we used along the way at the end. So first off, we have Rufus, level 76, our docile nation, and Cineroar, our starter, who had the squad on his back since day one, who is somewhat stubborn. Holding the Incendium Z, Rocket at Sinker, Darkest Lariat, Flutter Blitz, Earth Clicking Bulk Up as well. Then we have the general of the squad, Buzzkill, level 77, our hasty natured Vicavolt, I love this guy so much, who still likes to fight. Holding the Life Orb, Rocket at Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, <laughs> Bug Buzz, Energy Volume Air Slash. Then we have Diamond level 77, our gentle natured like in rock is quick to flee on the bright power because you can't see her. Rocking rock side, brick bright crunch, and Accela rock. Then we have my precious level 77, our admin natured Lorantis, who loves to eat. Hold that scope lens, rocking leaf leech life, leaf blade, poison jab, and sword dance. I did give her poison jab. Just for coverage, you know, in case we ever need like coverage, like Two grass animals aren't really going to help us, and if I ever, ever want to help Blizzard back and get heart scale down, because heart scales are super easy to get in this game. Like, you can pretty much practically buy heart scales. Anyways, up next we have Zero, level 77, our timid, natured, wishy-washy, who's highly curious on that quick claw, because he, she ain't all that quick. Rocking Scald, Ice Beam, HP Poison, and Earthquake. Then we have Agatha, level 77, our calm, natured, Magirna, who's alert to sounds, on that choice specs. Rocking that signature Fleur Cannon, and Flash Cannon, Energy Ball, and Dazzling Gleam as well. But with that, you guys, let's go ahead and dive right into this. Now, first things first, though, I do want to give a shout-out to our Pokemon PC, and I also need to deposit Agatha in, because apparently you cannot take on this thing if you don't have, if you have a mystical Pokemon. Like, an, or, like a Pokemon you can't use, or yeah, or in your party. So, we're going to go ahead and deposit you in the Legends box. Alright, so, where is... Cause I know there's, there's a couple of shouts I want to give. Oh, shout-out to Irello, who was with us for, like, the first 17 episodes, I want to say. I think we had, uh, Zero episode 18, and we replaced Irello with Zero. So, yeah, shout out to Irello. Uh, who else was there? Who else was there? It was, oh, how could we forget paint? How could we forget paint? Paint, you put in the work. We, um, uh, slapped you out for QB, who also put in some work, even though that's, those are often the stats aren't the best. Really, the only really decent stat on Alolan Ninetales, and really, really Ninetales in general, now that I think about it, is its speed. Everything else is kind of just meh. And special attack and s attack are terrible, pretty terrible. Like I like his design, but I can't really rock with that. That's, that's partially, partially why I uh, swapped you out for Agatha. Also because you know we don't really need two fairy types. And then paint, paint is cool. I mean that that uh, attack is pretty good. Good. I feel like paint could have put in a little bit more work if we kept him on the squad, but that's okay. That is okay. And we have, uh, of course, the, um, the Legends. We got Nebu, we got Zygarde, we got Tapu Kogo, we, we got Fluttershy, which I do plan on renaming Angel. I thought of a better name for you. We have Madrid, we have Aquafini, who I did name Mist on the, in, in the episode, but we have Aquafini now. And we have Prism, as well as Zed, and then we have Pew, and then we have Akasa, of course, those are our Legends, and then, of course, we just have some other random dudes. We have, yeah. And then, shout out to our, um, our Shinies, we got Decidueye and Toxapex. Who I would have loved to use the Sigui, but we just never got a good, good good chance to. And I already know who I want to use in this battle. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to you. Letter, how can I help you? Um, let's go ahead and battle. 
Which battle format do you want? I would like... Actually, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 I don't want to cancel. Let's go, okay, I'm, I would like single battle. Please and thank you. 19 straight wins. Yes. Please use your Pokemon for the battle. Alright, so you have this squad here. And I already know the three Pokemon that I want to use. So they're basically my three favorite members of the squad. Which are Rufus, Buzzkill, and my precious. So we're going to go ahead and rock out those three. I know we do have a decent Fire-type weakness. Um, but hopefully that doesn't become too much of a problem. Uh, oh, shit. It's going down for me. Hey, hey. All right, let's continue a single about child. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't speak. This music. Bro, the music! <laughs> Alright. Don't have your Charizard. Venusaur, okay. Actually, what if actually he might actually have the the Venusaur Charizard in Blastoise? I don't want that to be true because Charizard's gonna be a problem, but it's very likely. All right, um, I guess Flare Blitz is our best bet here. Oh, we have Speed You. Is this gonna Oko? Ah, uh, just barely didn't. You have what the hell? Roar? Really, my dude? All right, Buzzkill. I guess we'll get the kill. Buzz kill will get the kill <laughs> with that bug buzz. Alright, so that's it for Venusaur. Please don't tell me you brought the Charizard. Blastoise. Okay, okay, okay. I can work I can rock with that. I can rock with Blastoise. So in Thunderbolt you. Thunderbolt. Awkward, my dude. Red, I thought you were more you were a better trainer than this. Almost a blurry. That you're luck you're lucky little how do you live on one HP though? Why are like why do you keep you living on like slivers of health? Alright, um I guess we'll finish off another Thunderbolt. What are you gonna go for? Aqua Tail? Laughable. Laughable. Alright, we live in. We live in. We live in. Alright, so we have three Pokemon for his final one. Which is a drumroll, please. Survey says. It's the Charizard. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck. Alright, um I had to go for Thunderbolt. I mean, Buzzco might go down. Firefang. If you if you're gonna tell me that that's, that's the best you have, that you don't have Flamethrower, then I am going to f do a backflip right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll kind of have to go into Rufus on this. And you know what? Dragon Claw. Laughable. Oh, we actually ate that up, bro. Let's get this money. Rufus, my boy, my boy, my guy, <laughs> this is my guy, we, be we defeated a red, has some battle plans, commemorate your accomplishment, we received 20 BP motherfucker, well, I think, I know we have a sh pretty short episode, but you know what, yeah, you know what, we'll save a, we'll save a video of that battle, um, but yeah, I know we had a pretty short episode, but I, I, I might, you know, I might go ahead and talk for a little bit, just cause, you know, why not? Oh shit. And Red's standing right there, so I think we can, uh, also take, take on battles with him at our side, which is pretty feckin' dope. Anyways. Let's go ahead and stand next to my boy Red. And let me talk a little bit about the game, about, about like, my opinions on Pokemon Sun as a game. I, it was, it was pretty dope, you know, I say it lived up to the hype, because, you know, between... I mean, Lily, I mean, I mean, the characters were all were awesome for starters. Like, How was awesome. Lily was awesome. Friggin' Kukui was awesome. Lucimi was a pretty, gr pretty, frig pretty gr great antagonist, and so was Guzma. Your boy Guzma. <laughs> uh, 
um, I, I, um, I like the whole trial thing, you know, it's like, it's a bit different, but I like, I like, I liked it, you know, I wasn't sure how I felt about it at first when I found out that it was, like, replacing gyms, but now, after, after having done them, I kind of like it, you know, it's a little bit different, although I feel like we're gonna go back to the gyms in the next Pokemon games, because, like, they only did trials because it was kind of, like, a thing that's unique to Alola, you know? Yeah. Um, what else do I want to talk about? I mean, I guess I'll talk, I guess the next thing I'll talk about is our squad, because our squad was pretty, pretty lit, pretty lit. <laughs> Get it? Because we started with Litton. Eh. Honestly, I just started with Litton because, like, like I said, I'm pretty sure I, I said it in the beginning. I said it, like, in that episode when I chose Litton, but I'll go ahead and say it again. I would have chosen, like, I was, when the starters were first revealed way back in, like, February or whatever, I was between either Rowlet or Litton. I did also like Poplio a little bit, but mostly Rowlet or Litton. Like, I liked those two more. Then when Laurentis came along, that was basically like, okay, I'm sorry, Rowlet. I mean, I know there's nothing wrong with having two Pokemon of the same type on your team, but I was, I was, gonna, I was gonna try to go with someone else. And then when the second second Evos came out, I was like, okay, Torakat's pretty dope. Torakat's pretty dope. And then, the and then when the I was, I, and then the Chinese leaks came along, and I was like, oh god, please, because I thought this was gonna be in firefighting. I didn't like, I didn't like the way uh, Incineroar looked in the Chinese leaks. But then when it was the first day it was confirmed, I was like, uh, okay. But when I saw it's like it's a uh, in-game like sprite and stuff, I was like, okay, that looks actually pretty cool. And then when the trailer dropped, I was like, okay, yep, I'm sold. <laughs> and Incineroar put in work. Like, people hate on Incineroar, but P Incineroar put in work in this LP. You cannot deny that. Then we had Buzzkill. Buzzkill the god. I love Buzzkill. You know, you guys know since day one, I love Vicavolt. I, I mean, I love Grubbin and Chargebug and Vicavolt. So, you know, we had to scoop one up and add it to our squad. Then we had Diamond. I did, I did like, um, mid Midday Light and Rock. That was, like, one of my favorites. After I saw it, I was like, okay, yeah, that looks pretty dope. Especially in the trailer when I saw it in-game. Like, it's Ken Sugimori art. I was like, I, was, I wasn't really a huge fan of. When I saw it, in, it's in-game. Like, three, like, uh, act, like, um, actions and stuff, for lack of a better animations. That's what I was looking for. I was like, okay, that, okay, I really like that. So, yeah, we scooped that, scooped that up as well. It was a little bit of a hassle to get, if I remember correctly, but that's okay. Uh, another one of the, another Pokemon that was a bit of a hassle to get, was, but was well worth it in the end, was my precious. You guys know that since day one, Laurentis has been, like, one of my all-time favorite Sun and Moon Pokemon. Probably, like, may maybe even within my top ten favorite Pokemon, like, in general. If not top ten, then definitely top twenty, for sure. Um, but yeah, like, Laurentis is just, I, lo I just love Laurentis. I just love Laurentis. I know there are gonna be some people out there that prefer Serena, and I respect your opinion, but... You can't, you can't, like, like I said, I said this before, too. Even people who prefer Serena over Laurentis cannot deny that Laurentis is still a... A cool Pokemon, and I and I talked to a, few, a couple of my friends that do prefer Serena, and they agree that Laurentis is still a pretty cool Pokemon. Then we have Zero, which honestly, Zero was kind of like I I I was going like when I first saw Wishy Washy's school form, I was like okay that was pretty cool. The only thing that was holding me back at first was I wasn't sure how it's gim how it's like uh, it's uh, ability worked because I said well we're, we're, just, we're just a certain level. So, like, but, but, like, it wasn't, like, gonna be, like, a regular, like, evolution, because, like, you know, otherwise it would have a different, uh, different name. Um, but, yeah. So, but then once I figured it out, I was like, okay, I might scoop this guy up, because it's a pretty cool water type, and, yeah, I needed a water type, because, like, you, you can't really have a Pokemon Sun Moon team without a, without a water type. Um, I, in hindsight, I do kind of regret not using a Rock Winnet, if you guys remember that. The only thing that held me back again was, like, the notion of two of the same type, but... I don't know. I mean, I'm definitely gonna use Narakuen in my first place of a Pokemon Moon, which I'd probably get for Christmas, so... Yeah. And then we had, uh, and actually, fun fact for you guys, I was actually... Arachnid doesn't actually have that base, that high base attack, but its ability Water Bubble doubles the power of Water-type moves, so... That would probably have been pretty lit. Pretty feckin' lit. And then, of course, we had, um... The, the last slot changed drastically. We had Paint, which was really cool. I, I liked the Lolan Muck. Then we had QB, it was, you know, also cool. And then we had, uh, Agatha, and Agatha, I only really added Agatha to, to the team because I, I kind of wanted, like, like I said, QB wasn't all that, like, QB stats aren't, weren't all that, and I want, kind of wanted, I guess, a better fairy type, like, for our squad, and, uh, Mirna actually ended up putting in a lot of work for the short time that she was on our squad. Like, she swept Hala in the rematch. Yeah, it was wild. It was a wild ride. This LP was a wild ride, a wild ride. Um, as for, like, like, the, like, future videos, um, White, if you guys remember White Power Lock, I did say that I want to do some posting and stuff in that game, that might come back on, like, Sunday, ne Sunday next week, I, I would like to say Monday, but I can't guarantee Monday, I don't know, um, well, there was also something else I was using, oh yeah, I mean, it, 
Another thing, cause I know it's like a lot of people were getting like random shinies in their OP. We didn't, which was unfortunate, but that's kind of my luck. Like my luck isn't definitely the best, as you guys probably know if you know me well, and also if you've seen this LP, you've probably seen quite a few unlucky moments. Um So yeah, but also, I mean I can't really cause we did get a, a shiny Woobat in our Pokemon um white power lock, so that was pretty pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. And again, back to if you guys are like gonna like say something about the quality it's the best i have and those time those few episodes when i had to go slowly my th i had i thought that it was because like i was going like it was going too fast and like the fps was screwing my tablet up or something i don't i'm doubtful that that's, that that's the case now because there were times when i did that that i wasn't definitely moving that quickly like once i did that when i was in the middle of a battle and i was like okay that, i don't know the frame was like moving that quickly anyways enough of that, enough about that enough of my problems thank you guys now it's now time for like the the, the sappy stuff so. If you guys if you guys are watching this right now, thank you for, thank you for taking the time out of your um out of your probably busy day to watch this. Like I know it sounds like really cheesy and stuff, but it's true. Like you know I'm like I may not have that many subscribers, and I'm cranking up videos like way too often for someone's like f subscriber count in the like the high 40s. Like I think I have like 46 right now, but I mostly do it because because like I'm enjoying recording. Like when my tablet doesn't fuck up and when I don't have incredibly bad luck in the video, I generally have fun recording. You know it's just yeah. Anyways. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Sun and and our entire Sun LP as a whole, make sure you smash that like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for checking out the video. But your boy, Techno Blaster, is out this bitch. Peace.